Before we begin today's lesson on finding the missing part of a pattern, let's do a quick review of how to extend a pattern. In our first example here, we have a penguin and a fox, a penguin and a fox, a penguin and a fox. And I wonder what should come next. Well, we just had a fox. And if I look at the pattern there, after every fox comes a penguin. So if you guess penguin, you would be correct. And then what comes after the penguin? Well, after every penguin in this pattern, we see another fox. Now we can go back to the beginning of this pattern and read it out loud to see if our answer follows the pattern from the beginning. Penguin, fox, penguin, fox, penguin, fox, penguin, fox. That looks great. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have an apple, a strawberry, and a banana. An apple, a strawberry, and a banana. An apple and a... Well, if you guess strawberry, you got it. And after every strawberry in our pattern, we see a banana. Now we can go back again to the beginning of our pattern and see if our answer follows the pattern that's here. We have an apple, a strawberry, and a banana. And then our pattern starts over with an apple, a strawberry, and a banana. And then an apple, a strawberry, and a banana. That looks great. Now, when we're looking at finding the missing part, we're looking for what's missing in the middle of our pattern. So instead of making our pattern longer, we're going to try to complete it. Now, if I read this pattern, which is always a great place to start, I'm gonna see that we have a one, and then a two, and then a three, and then another one. Oh, something we're not sure, a three, then a one, then a two, then a three. Well, I think you can all count to three. So if you guess the two is missing, you would be right. We have a one, two, three, a one, two, three, and a one, two, three. That's a great job. Now, what do we do if we have two missing parts? Well, again, we can start at the beginning of our pattern and we can read it out loud. We can use what we see in the pattern or we can read it as an A, B pattern. And we can try both of those here. A blue and a red and a red, a blue and a red and a mm and a mm and a red and a red. Well, let's try A and B. We'll say blue as an A, red as a B. Let me see A, B, B. A, B, mm, mm, B, B. Well, when we extended patterns, we looked at what came just before, just after the last one. So if I look here, I see a red pencil right before our unknown, and before that is a blue. So I wonder if this is a blue and a red, just like the two that come before it. Well, let's read this pattern out loud. Blue, red, red, blue, red, blue. Oh, blue, red, red, red. Uh-oh, something doesn't look quite right here. I'm going to try again using letters and see if I can figure out what's going on. If I say blue is an A and red is a B again, we would read A, B, B. A, B, B, so the blue one should be a red one, and the red one should be a blue one. Let's double check just to make sure. Blue, red, red, blue, red, red, blue, red, red. Oh, that sounds much better. Or we could read A, B, B, A, B, B, A, B, B. Great job. Here's our last example for today. And this one might be a little bit trickier. So let's take a look at it together. It's like all our other patterns. It's always good to start and read it out loud to see if we can find the missing part. 
In this pattern, we have a ladybug, a butterfly, a butterfly, and a bee, a ladybug, a butterfly, a mm and a bee, a mm and a butterfly, and a butterfly, and a bee. Well, I know that it can only be one of three things. It can be a ladybug, it could be a butterfly, or it could be a bee. Now, if I look back in my pattern, I can see that between the butterfly and the bee, we have another butterfly. Let's put a butterfly in here and see if this works with the pattern that we have. Ladybug, butterfly, butterfly, bee. Ladybug, butterfly, butterfly, bee. Oh, that sounds really good. Now we have one more to figure out. And for this one, we see that we have a B and then a M. Well, if we go back in our pattern again, we can see there is a B and then a ladybug. So I wonder if a ladybug goes here. Let's read our pattern together from the beginning. Ladybug, butterfly, butterfly, B. Ladybug, butterfly, butterfly, B. Ladybug, butterfly, butterfly, bee. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds like a pattern that repeats. Let's try again using A and B and C. A, B, B, C. A, B, B, C. A, B, B, C. That looks great. Looks like we got it. Now you know how to find the missing part of a pattern.